what we're going to do now is going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it for AutoCAD. Um, let's see, we're going to add, obviously need a new writer, so I'm going to say let's write this to AutoCAD. Uh, and as you can see, we do Map3D and um, other uh, formats. We can do DWF as well as DWG. We'll stick to DWG for now. And we'll call this parks.dwg. And this time in the parameters, what I can do is I can set a template file, uh, which is pretty much the same thing as a seed file uh, within MicroStation. It's, it's basically storing all of my um, symbology and uh, setup like that. Okay. And I can choose how I want my... Yeah. Sorry, yeah, and we can... support multiple releases, so somebody could pick the, the AutoCAD release they want to write to there. So you can see we That's support right. a great number of different... Uh, Wow. Releases there. I yeah. didn't even realize there were that many. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so we'll click OK and OK again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say no, I don't want to create a new layer this time because what I can just simply do is I can select these ones from the microstation and say let's duplicate those. So we just duplicated them on the output, but they're going to be for um, uh, AutoCAD rather than um, microstation. So now we can put the DWG styler in there, and we can do the dog off leech parks, and we'll do the same thing as we did with MicroStation, and we can say, let's see, we've got the template file. Let's pick a block out of there, and again, we're going to use the doggy park. And we can set the block uh, size as well. Let's make that 50 as well, just to make sure we can see it. And it can be ground units or scale factor or things like that. And again, we can set rotation, uh, etc. OK, we'll just click OK on that. And we can we can do the same thing with the, uh, the parks. Can I, I think I can set the color and fill of the parks as I write them to, uh, let's just pick a green color. Am I doing that right? Yeah, I think so. OK. I just reduced my screen resolution for the webinar. Now I've got to resize some windows. There we go. OK, so I'm just going to run that one, and uh, that's going to. Uh, you forgot that you need to change oh. the, um, the, the writer on the dog off leash and park policy. Right, you ever yes. Those? But, yeah. Yes, two, two things I did wrong there. I didn't tell this to write to the AutoCAD, yep. so I need to do that. And the other problem, I, the other mistake I made was again, I've got this file open in MicroStation right. and as long as I've got that open I can't write to it at the same time. Yeah. So that's why it failed before. So there we go. We should have that and I've got AutoCAD TrueView installed and if I can figure out how to use that you can you can tell I'm more a MicroStation person than AutoCAD uh, just by looking at... Um, uh, okay so I, I left this warning up here just because um, it, it comes up with this, and we'll, I'll mention it. Um, if you write a DWG file with FME, it says in AutoCAD, hey, this was created, but it wasn't created by AutoCAD. You still want to open it. And um, yes, we do, because it is, it's fine. It's just. Yeah. Uh, and, it, uh, and if you use the, there is another AutoCAD format there called Real DWG. And if you use that library, you won't get the warning. Right. So. So how I zoom in? Yeah. Anyway, you can see I've I've coloured that. I must have selected the line colour to be green rather than the uh, the fill. But you you get the idea. Yeah. And again, I think I can turn the layers off. Let me see. <laughs> if I could remember how to use this. Oops. <laughs> okay. Well, you're going to have to uh, trust me on this one. Like, Oh, look, yeah. oh, there yeah. we go. And you'll have to attend a, there uh, we go. a web Oh, there you go. You figured it there out. We go. So you're going to yes. have to attend a TrueView webinar. I think so, yes. So there we go. We've got the uh, the dog symbols coming up again. So yeah. uh, that's how we, uh, we basically do that uh, to create blocks. And, and again, a nice thing I, I like about that is that we can do sort of really funky things with the with these stylus and make the block size related to an attribute and rotate it and do things like that uh, which I think is really cool